bloody Balverines. In all my years as chief, I've never seen anything like it. We might have had a chance, but these damn things follow a white Balverine. It comes into our village and kills whoever it wants. I can hear something now. It must be attacking the warehouses at the bottom of that hill. Wow, that thing's terrifying. And also disproportionately modeled. Alright. Let's go for it then. Hey, you white Balverine mofo. With multi shot, we can hit it multiple times, and you actually only need to hit it a few times to scare it off. Doing damage to it isn't really the point of the moment. What are you talking to me for? Attack that. Oh, okay. That thing's skin is too tough, even for you. You'd be surprised. We had a great hunter in Knothole Glade once. He died fighting the last white Balverine. His wife still lives in one of the houses up at the top of the hill. If anyone knows how to hurt that bloody thing, it'll be her. This is a really weird quest because they teach you that you need a certain kind of weapon in order to do damage to the white Balverine. But as it turns out, you don't. Because later you can just use any weapon against them, and as long as you do enough damage, you'll kill them. Like, Scorm's bow will tear them apart. It, it, I don't know. It's just like a plot thing, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get out of here. Scat. No one likes you. Shush. The damn thing was just waiting for you. How could it know where we were going? He was here again, wasn't he? I didn't want to hurt him. But this time, he's gone too far. What the blazes are you talking about? The White Balverine. It's my husband. Or it was. Once, he was bitten by the Balverine he killed. And slowly, he turned into the creature he hunted for so long. For a while, he could control himself. But anything that was left of my husband is dead now. That's the town horn. It must be attacking again. My husband used silver weapons to hunt the last white Balverine. Please take this. End his pain. Silver argumentation. I don't think we're actually gonna need it, if I remember right. Oh yes. I'll be very upset if we do need it. Uh, let's flip out our bow. Yep, we don't need it. We're good. Get out of here. Skididdle. That Balverine will think twice before attacking us again. We've got it on the run! We can hurt it! We can kill it! Folks say it lives by Witchwood Lake. Come back with its pelt, and I'll reward you. I like the sound of that. Alright, let's go hunt us a Balverine. We'll come back and explore Knothole Glade here in a little bit. It won't take long to murder the heck out of this white werewolfy type thing. Surely not. I mean, it's only Valerie. Blech. I killed all the little ones in one hit, so come on. Ugh, it's disgusting now. Its new model is so weird and, like, creepy. It's so... Ugh. Anyway. Alright. We can see it from here, so we can go and poke it. Poke it in the butt. Uh, it seems to be a little bit more resistant than I remember. Let's switch to our other weapon. And poke it in the butt! 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 Butt poke. I think this one might be special and it just has a lot more health than all the other ones, but I don't really remember. 
You just flipped around and hit me in the cutscene. That's not fair. Douchey thing. Hey. That is totally cheap. That is garbage. I'm sorry, no. That's BS. That these things can freaking hit you in cutscenes. I ain't taking that. I'm getting the boast on you, you bitch. First of all, let's actually buff our weapon this time. That just pissed me off. Like, seriously. Boom, boom, boom! I'm glad these other multi-arrows are homing. Wow, that was awesome. If I could just stay away from him and pelt him with multi-arrows, this will be, like, super easy. Hey, buddy! Suck it! Suck it! Suck it! Yes, yeah, summon more of your stupid friends. And mana plot. Switch weapons. Whack, 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 whack. Whack, 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 whack. That hitting me in cutscene shit's gotta stop. That's just stupid. I had to mana pot immediately after the cutscene to keep it from registering. And you're stuck in a wall! Ha! You're dead. Big fat bastard. Or maybe he's not dead. Maybe he's just slightly almost maybe dead. Yes, he's slightly almost maybe dead. Whack! White Balverine head! Not quite the pelt, but I think it'll work for our purposes. And physical shield off, because we don't really need that anymore as far as I remember. That should be it. Now we have access to Knothole Glade. Very nice little place. Uh, another house we can buy here, I think. And we'll probably go ahead and do that. Um, it's going to be a bit more expensive, but the money investment should make good returns. Hi, dude. So, you're back. And in one piece. One piece. We heard the howling and feared the worst. But it looks like you triumphed over the beast. A hero of your stature deserves the glory of fighting in the arena. Your nomination should be waiting for you when you return to the guild. Oh, and speaking of the guild, they sent this letter for you from your sister. Oh. Okay. The Bloodline. That's the book the archaeologist I think was supposed to give you. I hope it's good news. White Balverine. Boast complete. Money, 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 money. Alright. Let's do some looting around and just chilling in town for a bit. Um, we can go ahead and read this letter from our sister if you're curious as to what it says. I think it should be under the key items. No. Is it under the books? There it is. Dear brother, I've always known we're special now. I've found proof. This book tells of the bloodline from the days of the Old Kingdom and its connection to a sword powerful enough to rule the world. Bloodline mother belong to, and a bloodline you and I belong to. Da, 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 da. I speak to these pages, but they don't speak back. The bloodline da, 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 da. basically detailed a lot of backstory about the game and the Sword of Aeons, and how the Sword of Aeons bloodline is connected to a certain family, which happens to be the family that we're part of. That's the abridged version. All right, that's a bard. Nothing else in here seems to be good. 
or worth investing in. There should be a house up here we can buy, if I remember right. Though apparently not right now. I'm not seeing anything pop up. Hmm. Okay, we can go ahead and uh, go poke that demon door now. I think we need, might need to leave the town and come back in order for it to register the whole, you know, we've done the quest thing. Because it's still in quest mode. There just aren't as many people wandering around. Um, yeah. Let's go this way. That's gonna be something we do in a bit. Hi, door. If you can hurt my face with an arrow, I'll crack wide open for you. Oh? Funny you should mention that. I have a rather powerful arrow right here, and I'm going to feed you in the forehead with it. Yep. You've got the power. So, I've got the gap. Thanks for the gap. According to that, we only have four more demon doors in the game to go through. We've been doing a pretty good job of clearing all those. What's in this chest? Elixir of life! Dun, 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 dun. We'll go ahead and drink that down. Can't hurt. But a ding 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 ding. And now we've got a fair bit of mana. We could probably use some more mana potions, but we won't need them immediately.